Free Code Camp is probably one of the best websites that I would recommend for beginners to start learning how to code because Free Code Camp is one of those online platforms that is completely free and self-paced to help beginners from jumping from zero knowledge about coding to a expert and a hero as a developer. A lot of you guys might question, right? Like, do company actually hire you to become a web developer? So the answer to that question is depends. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through some of the steps that you can do to help you to stand out among all the other candidates who are applying for the same job. Everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May, and I am a full-time software engineer living in New York City. And in my channel, you would learn a lot about things that is related to web development or learning how to code and all things JavaScript. The first thing that I would like to say is get some real-world experience. I want you to actually thinking about volunteering. It is important to continue to improve your skills. It's especially to have your work experience or working with other developers or other people just in general. So it's important for you to demonstrate that you're not only just a developer, a programmer, but you are a great communicator. You're able to understand what the business needs and being able to deliver on time and also at a really high quality. If you complete the first 12 100 hours of free code camp, open source colloquiums, you can get a real world practice or expanding your portfolio by building projects for nonprofit organizations. Don't overlook for those nonprofit organizations. A lot of them needed a lot of developers and a lot of help. So being able to, you know, volunteering or contributing to their code bases really demonstrate that you are able to code and you're able to deal with production quality code. The second thing that is important is being open to internships and apprenticeships. Many of them who are coming from, you know, boot camps or graduating from college or even self-taught, most of the candidates don't have a lot of chances to get real world experience. If you did not volunteer, as I recommended previously for nonprofit organizations, you probably don't have that kind of experience to have production code. The sad truth is that the chances of you getting hired as a full-time developer, it's probably harder than the chances of you getting a apprenticeship or an internship from a company. And to be honest with you, a lot of times if you are the intern, for that company, the opportunity of you becoming a full-time for that company is very high. They spend a lot of time to train you, to grow you, and to get you to up to speed. The goal as a intern or as a apprentice is to be able to actually allow the company to see the values in you and you're a great coder that they wanted to work with. Hence, they wanted to offer you a full-time position in the future. If they don't offer you a full-time position at the end of the intern, internship or the apprenticeship, the experience that you gain from working for this company is valuable and it's something that you can prove to other employers that now that you're ready for a full-time developer position. The third thing that I wanted to emphasize on is being able to have a portfolio site to demonstrate all your projects to the recruiter. And here is some of the checklist of things that you should really include on your portfolio site, aka your personal website. And I am going to list all the important, you know, checklist of things that you need for your portfolio site. The other thing that is really important is being able to not only just having the portfolio page, but even just recording a demo on YouTube to demonstrate the projects that you built, or if you haven't deployed your project into a hosting site to showcase to recruiters, just be able to record that demo and show them what you built because a lot of times they might be lazy and they don't have time to really go into those websites to look for your projects. It really helps them and make their life easier to be able to see, hey, this person already built this or like this person already had this, these kind of projects, which is super cool and I can just show it to the hiring manager. So the last thing is probably, I would say, one of the most, most 
important thing is practice interviews, code challenges, a lot of them. Like practice, practice, practice. Coding challenges ranges from like easy ones like FizzBids or harder ones like 2D arrays or even like linguists and graph trees. Out of those algorithm problems and challenges, you need to be familiar with them and you need to be really good at cracking those coding interviews. In FreeCodeCam, it gives you a whole section of learning algorithms and doing all of those practices and go on to different websites to practice and do a lot of them really is going to help you to be familiar with the interview process and also being able to, you know, just can see how you can approach those problems. One of the tips that I would say is practice makes perfect and there's no other shortcuts except for just doing a lot of practices. I know it's hard, I know it makes your brain cells hurt. It's not a really good experience. Unfortunately, it's a way to get a job as a developer. So you have to crack those down. When it comes to interviews, I would say that one of the best support for people to practice on interviews is having a group of people who are also interviewing the same time as you. So having your friends, having your developer friends, having someone that is constantly practicing interview problems with you that just really help you because you know when you're studying in a group you feel more responsible to study. You don't feel like you're on this journey all by yourself. It's a great amazing way for you to practice and cracking all those interviews and going through those dark times when you're interviewing with other companies. For those of you who are currently have a very specific situation and you want to talk to me personally and schedule a time to you know talk about your personal situation and how I can help you to get to where you want to get to. I have some one-on-one -on -one sections that are open up and I'll link the link down in the description box down below so you can check them out and schedule some time with me. And for those of you who are probably also doing Udemy courses and wondering how can you get higher after you you know finish Udemy courses, I've got a video for that too. Honestly, just make sure to check out other videos that are also relevant to this topic and be safe out there and adios.